just to hold the legs. Do you think he'll get anything back? Probably not, huh? So he's, I think they're healing quite quite well as far as, um, you know, the wounds look nice and you can see this pink, what we call granulation tissue. Mm -hmm. um, and what this uh, surgeon had recommended is, you know, sort of all of this fur here can be a, a conduit for bacterium and also just wanting to see what the uh, skin looks like underneath. So we're probably going to shave all of this, shave all of this, shave, shave, um, and then we'll really give it a good uh, flush and clean it um, and then we'll re-bandage it and there's a chance that once we bandage it uh, he doesn't have to come back for a couple of days and okay. so this is something he can be, be with you. Um, <laughs> Sorry guys, it means a, I, I care about the dogs that come in my care a lot. Uh, they need the world to be before they get adopted so. But. So, so lucky to have you. Um, so I get emotional. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, but again, luckily everything seems to be headed in the right direction, and so she's very optimistic short term um, as far as, you know, um, this coming back and basically it's going to be skin. I think the concern she has for the long term, though, is, you know, dogs have the, the pads, yep. right? Uh, and uh, she was mentioning with cats, so they uh, the, the surgeons originally... Uh, from California, so you know they had a lot of wildfires. So they have a lot of experience dealing with sort of burns from uh, different patients, and so with cats, they tend to do well, right? Because right. there's not a lot of weight, um, and they're mostly indoors. Yep. But for dogs, it's a different story, right? So yeah. being outdoors and then just being very, you know, very sensitive, right? Um, and so. That's her concern, um, and also how adoptable. I guess the thing is, will, will booties work, right? Right. And, and um, will he tolerate them? Can we find booties that are going to keep him comfortable? So that's sort of her main concern. Is we have a term. lot of stuff on our wish list, like socks okay. that have the no grip. Okay. So we'll try different things once okay. he's healed yeah. up and everything. And so see what, see what works Yeah, so him. what will work best for him. Okay. Um, like the socks have little grippy things on mm -hmm. the bottom of them. So, he, you know, like for in the house. And then, because on the farm, it's kind of hard because if he goes outside, he's just going to get hay and everything else on there. So um, get some outdoor booties. And mm -hmm. I think that, you know, he'll get accustomed to it because he's young enough. So that, that'll be a good thing. And then as far as his care, we'll give you more antibiotics. So we want him to be on a longer course of the antibiotic, yeah. for sure. And then continuing the carprofen. It looks like you were kind of running, uh, you only They only gave me book. enough for until today to get him through. They said that they couldn't send any more. That's why, so that's why we were trying to find somebody to see him today so that we made sure that that's we followed through with everything. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Um, so we'll give you some more of those pain medications. We might add on another one just to make sure that he's as comfortable as we can, you know, as possible. So he might be on three different uh, pain meds. So the non all the carprofen, he's on okay. gabapentin as well too, which is really good for neuropathic pain and just to keep them more calm. Um, and then, uh, depending on his size, we'll have to see what uh, if we can find the right tablet for him. But amantadine is another one that's really good for sort of what we call wind-up pain, where they become really sort of hyper uh, hypersensitive um, uh, when when you have sort of uh, you know uh, wounds that are very painful. So we can add that to his regimen as well too. Um, yeah, I'm surprised he does. He stands up and he'll go outside and go potty and poop. So. Okay. Um, and then she is a little bit concerned about uh, this here, so we're going to remove some of the, the dead skin um, there and then take a look okay. at that. Um, uh, so we can sort of debride that a little bit yeah. more um, there. And if you want to take pictures, let me know if you need any light. Yeah, probably a little bit more light. <laughs> there we go. I notice that he does have some in his fur too, some really thick ones like right mm -hmm. through there. There's some burn areas. Okay. Okay, good. We'll yeah. clip, we'll clip that. So it's going to be some more, more clipping. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just revise the estimates just to include sort of uh, more medications, a little bit more sort of wound management, and then the plan.